What's up guys, today we're doing a little bit more gambling, um, at the, uh, Calico Spin, Calico Jack Team. But first, we check, uh -huh. Tent Lady. Nothing of interest, okay. So, how do you, Sandy? All right, so, can I go spin? Wait. Now, here we go. Big money. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'll take 300. Dang it. And I'm already out of money. That's great. This is what I'm gonna do for a minute. I don't know, I'm kinda bored. I really got nothing to do. Yes. Dang it. I don't really know what to talk about, you know? That's a lot of cash. Sheesh. Con, con, dang it. Yeah, whatever. Three cherries? No. I feel like cherries are the most common one. Getting a lot of cherries. Or maybe. Oh, never mind. I was about to say, or maybe not? More table. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. New game. Twenty. He's got to land perfectly on twenty-one for this. Yes. Hey, baby. New game. Hit. 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 Yes, 
Okay, 19. I'll take it. I won't get greedy. 27. Okay. Getting real lucky with this, aren't I? I sure am. Hit. Uh, hit. Yes. Stand. But I'll say, let's see you hit 21 perfectly. Stand. Let's pray. Alright, never mind. Alright, 19. 19, I'll take it. I'll take it. Yes. <laughs> you know what? Let's do a double or nothing for once. The second I do a double or nothing, I lose. Of course. Alright, stand. Hmm. Ha. Oh. New game. Hit. Hit. Dang it, no. Hit. Hit. Stand. Hmm. Ha. Oh. Oh. New game. Yes! Oh my god, six, six, six. Uh. Dang it. Yes. Double or nothing. Why not? 19. Come on, let's see him hit 20 or 21. 22. Ha! Nerd. Alright, alright, alright. After this game, we're quitting. Dang it. Okay. I can buy the red crow. You saw nothing. You didn't see nothing. Ooh, modern double bed. Tempting. We'll stand. Ah. Oh. Let's see if we can get twenty one. Ah. Oh. Now I'll just earn all that money back. Oh, crap. My advice when it comes to the uh, Calico Jack game, this one, um, frick. Uh, don't ever do double or nothing. Play it safe. 19. Let's see him hit 20 or 21. <laughs> Never mind him. Alright then, I guess we're uh, just screwed then. And we uh, have to play Calico Spin for a bit. Now the thing about Calico Spin is um it's entirely luck, so on my advice, just pray. <laughs> That's all you can do. I've never gotten like three cherries. I haven't gotten three of most of them. Most of the things. Come on. Dude. taunting me. Oh my god, it's taunting me now. 
It's genuinely taunting me. My god, dude. Oh my god, do you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? <laughs> She's gonna keep throwing me like one and two cherries over and over again. cringe you are cringe that was uneventful I guess I'll uh, show you guys now. My little surprise. Okay. Little surprise I have in store for you all out there. Skadoosh. Yeah. I uh, married Emily now. Yeah, I married to Emily. I don't have a child with her. I'm not. I don't have a child with her yet, but. Yeah, it's something. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, I love, I love my wife. She respects the couch. Well, you know, she kind of has to, otherwise. Catch, catch my needer. If I have any fall seeds around, hmm. Mm. I'm gonna use for seed makers to turn this pumpkin into fall into pumpkin seeds. Let's go do Who can have my seed maker? <laughs> God, dude, chili butter videos are amazing. Go sub to her, by the way. She's great. Amazing YouTuber. Also, a fellow um Stardew sucker. Like me. Mm. 
Where's my wife? Ah, oh, there she is. Our bodies are naturally in tune with the seasons. This light and color of fall compels us to prepare for the barren of winter. To our distant ancestors, the feeling was encompassing and vital for us. It, it only barely peeks through the noise of modern life. I don't know what that means, but I love you anyway, so. I can make bread. By the way, you uh, don't really um, have to feed your animals for them to produce product. I have learned they only produce it a little bit slow. So yeah. Hmm. Oh, that cutscene. Ah, uh, I see. Um, by the way, uh, in the marriage cutscene, um, I noticed something. Um, I haven't noticed this, um, the entirety of the time. The entire, like, what? How long have I been on this farm? Let me check. Right now. I don't know, like, 13, 14 years, maybe? And I never realized until the wedding cutscene... Mayor Lewis said, I now pronounce you wife and, well, wife. I never realized that I was female this entire time. Uh, so yeah, I guess what I'm better do now to fix that. Shrine of Illusion, baby, yep. I am going to change my gender. Oh, crap. Didn't mean to do that. Because in real life, I am a dude, if you could not tell by my deep, muscular voice. <laughs> oh, I gotta kite myself up sometimes. I never realized. They just like made like the male like just a wee bit taller. There. And just one pale looking little boy IRL. Also you wanna know where the witch's hut goes from here? That's right. The wizard's tower. Oh. 
Oh, Jenny wants a cauliflower. So yeah, um, how I uh, married Emily is, um, so I took all of my jade that I had just kind of stored up, you know, and I, uh, and, and I, um, I, uh, got a bunch of coffee, made triple shot espressos, and I drank them, used the horse whistle, and then I went to her house, and... I would wait outside her door until I got and give her a gift on wait until she came out give her a gift until two hearts and then oh my good Jesus no um and then I and then at two hearts I would go into her room and you know do that uh so yeah um and then after I got two hearts, I would just, yeah, you know, go into a room, like I said. Yeah, and I just kept doing that for, like, many, many days at a time. El... After 10 p.m., okay. So we're just gonna go there and sit and wait. Right after 10 p.m. She is, in fact, my wife, and I gave her like three, and I gave her like 30 jade. It was an entire thing. Yeah, it was really freaking weird, and yeah. It was, it was very cool.
frick, what should I talk about? Um, oh, uh, yes. Um, so, here are my thoughts on the, uh, situation of preserved jars versus kegs. So, kegs, they multiply the base value of fruits by three times when put into a keg, I mean, into wine. But for vegetables, you see, um, that multiplier is set to 2.25 times its base value times the vegetables face value and preserved jars they just have that flat out you know 2.25 times for vegetables and fruits um yeah and preserved jars take less time to produce a product so most people say that for most vegetables it's better to put them into preserved jars and kegs Yada yada, you know, um, but there's one thing that people don't think about, and I don't think it's thought about enough. Preserve the recipes. So, you see, there's a thing. There are two things that you can do to get the things, to get the materials for both clints, or, I mean, for both preserved jars and kegs. So, you see... Robin sells wood and stone. Now, you do need wood for kegs and preserved jars, but you need 40 stone for a preserved jar. For a single preserved jar, that's 40 stone. And one stone at Robin's is, guess what? 100 gold. 100 dollars. Per stone. So yeah, you can't ease very easily like buy mass amounts of stone from Robin. And if you're a lazy little, and if you're a lazy gamer like me, then you want you then you don't want to go down to the mines every single day and get like 72 stone out of it. So you want to buy it from Robin's initially, and then boom, you're bankrupt from buying like. 400 from buying like 200 stone and you make like five preserved jars but rather with kegs um you um freaking you buy a bunch of copper and iron from clint's and you know get some wood from either robins or your farm and you just Make and you put the um and you smelt the ore in furnaces, you know. Wait a day, you know. You go to sleep to get it instantly next day, and boom, you have a bunch of stuff to make kegs. But you see, you also need oak resin to make kegs, which is really easy to get. All you need is to slap a tap around a tree for some copper and I think some wood. Let's check. Yes, yeah, some wood and copper, and then you wait like seven days, and then boom, you have yourself oak resin. Like, dude, that's so easy. And it's like, dude, like, I, I like kegs more than preserved jars, because preserved jars take icky stone and wood. Rather than just taking wood like um, kegs do. Also, I don't know if you guys know about this. Um, but there's this one game called The Forest. Um, and I really like it and I want it. Um, and I've, you know, been watching Markiplier play it a lot. And, um, lately. So, um, yeah, and they all, and, um, Bob, Wade, and Mark built this one trap in front of, like, their doorways called the Happy Birthday Trap. You wanna know what the happy birthday trap is? So basically, it's like this stick that like sets off the trap. And what the trap is, it's a big wall of spikes, of wooden spikes that's on, that's initially on the ground, and then it just flick, and then it just freaking flips up whenever the um, stick is broken. So the stick acts as a triggering mechanism. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so great. Oh god. I just imagine, like, 
I am playing like the forest with my friend and we're and he like built a base and I'm like oh hey and it's his birthday or something and I'm like oh hey um friend whose name I sh I can't say do you want to um see something cool and I'll build like the happy birthday trap outside of his base on his and it's his birthday in real life and he'll say like oh yeah sure what is it? And he'll come outside of his base, and then he'll yell, Happy Birthday, and then he'll just freaking get bumped in the face by the trap, and I think that'd be amazing. Okay, I'll shut it now. Cutscene. So that was an odd cutscene, wasn't it? Oh! Right, Spirit Eve Festival's tomorrow. I mean, well guys, I think that's where I'm gonna leave it off for around now. And, um, make sure to... Uh like sub and comment on the video or else remember we catch what you do this is a this is a threat i'll i'll sick i'll sick the parrot to peck your eyes out and emily to throw stones through your window and goodbye for today my little sproutlings Bye.